So I'm Mike Callahan, and uh, today I'm going to talk about simple Angular components. Uh, the cool thing about Angular components is they don't need to be complicated. In fact, with just a little HTML and CSS, it's reasonably straightforward to build a component you can reuse in all your projects. So over the next few minutes, I'm going to show a complete Angular component with no imperative code, just basic HTML and CSS. When we're done, I'll provide a Stack Blitz link to the code so that you can try it out on your own. In one of my projects recently, I needed to display a tiny little screen that simply tells the user that data is being loaded. We've all seen them. I thought about looking for something online or maybe even using Ionic's loading controller, but that felt too heavy for what I wanted. So then I thought it shouldn't be too hard to build one myself, right? So I decided to spend some time writing my own to see how it goes. I found a unique animated GIF and got to work. To start, I used the Angular CLI to generate a new component named loading without any unit tests. There's not going to be any executable code, so there's really nothing to test. Inside the component, the generated code looks like this. It's just a visual component with no other behavior. The component decorator tells us how the component is going to be defined. Selector defines the app's HTML name, uh, tag name. The next two lines tell the Angular component, or the Angular compiler and us where to find the markup and styles for the component respectively. Next is the empty class body itself with just those two empty functions, which I don't need, so I deleted them entirely. And I replaced them with just two variables. The input decorators tell Angular to expose those two variables as attributes on the custom HTML tag. Label is going to be bound to some text in the HTML so that I can tell the user exactly what's being loaded. Shown allows the host to show or hide the component as needed. Now let's take a look at the markup. The component itself consists of a singular div with a class called wrapper and a conditional class called hidden. If the shown attribute is false, the hidden class will be set. Inside this div are three more elements. An image tag pointing at the animated GIF I showed earlier. An interesting option here would be to encode the image as a base64 string and include it directly in the image tag itself. Next, a title represented by an H1 tag containing, in my case, a hard-coded message to the user. And the final piece of content is a paragraph tag with its text bound to the input label, uh, the input label field on the component. Whatever the component, whatever the host component passes as that label attribute will be displayed here. The component style sheet handles all of its behavior and appearance. I start with some simple rules, which I believe are self-explanatory. I set the text size for the header, the image size for the animation, and the hidden class will set the component display to none, completely hiding it from view. The real magic happens in the wrapper class, so I'll explain it in, in pieces as I go. The first few lines are just a bit of setup and shouldn't require a whole lot of explanation. The component will be placed at an absolute position on this, uh, an absolute position on the screen and will have a fixed width and height. The Z index gives it a decent likelihood that no other elements will appear in front of it. This next block positions the component 100 pixels from the top of the screen, and then it does something kind of clever. The component's left side is set at 50% of the host's width. Then it sets a negative margin roughly equal to half the component's width. This effectively causes the entire component to be centered horizontally. And the last block is really cool. The component's outline is defined as a 95% opaque solid gray line really, really wide. This ends up becoming the overlay covering the host component with, the, with its outline, so you can't select anything behind it. And here's how you use it. You simply include the loading tag anywhere on the page you want to use it, set the two in attribute, the input attributes as you see fit. When it's all assembled and working, this is what it might look like. Pretty cool, wouldn't you say? And that's all there is to it. Like I said, Angular components don't need to be complicated. In fact, sometimes they don't even need any imperative code. In just a few minutes, I have shown how to create a simple loading component that can easily be used anywhere in your application. Further, 
with just a little more effort, I could build a completely standalone component that I could drop into any project I wish. If you want to play around with the code yourself, it's available on StackBlitz at the URL shown here. Mm -hmm.